What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to our last Game Change and Pass Showtime training guide. And this time we're taking a look at Tony. Now, Tony Cruz, lads, is probably, in my opinion, and I'm, I'm sure some will disagree, I think he's probably the most disappointing of these uh, packs, right? Verratti is an extremely, extremely good offensive juggernaut orchestrator play style type player. Bellingham is a brilliant, complete box to box player that you can train in multiple ways. But with Cruz, I think that you've got a lot of um, a lot of issues with this card, right? So straight off the bat, he is an A-form player this week, A-rating with unwavering form, which is what you would expect from one of Real Madrid's best ever players. But I do think that he is lacking in a lot of areas here, right? He does have one-touch pass, he does have true passing, and of course he has low lofted with game change and pass, which is the new one. And he also has interception. So it's very similar to the other two cards in this pack. But I just feel like he's probably one of the most um, kind of... You can just replace him and get a good uh, a good alternative to him very easily. I'm going to just show you very simple, uh, very simply what I mean by that, right? So he is an orchestrator, as we said. He does have 31 levels to go, and it is from the 18th of May um, Showtime pack that we have here with the game changing pass, right? But we've got a couple of versions of him here, just two to get through, but they're very similar. The biggest problem with this card, lads, is that he doesn't really fit into any system unless you're looking for a complete passer right and usually in e football the way it is at the moment is that these are kind of luxury items right you could play him as a dmf there's no doubt about it um if you wanted him to just sit in the pocket but the problem with that is then because he's an orchestrator you're not going to have that deep line like an anchorman you're not going to have destroyer you're not going to have box to box he doesn't have the engine he doesn't have the speed he doesn't have the tackling he doesn't have the defense so you're kind of limiting yourself as to where he can really play now, could you play a DMF sitting really, really deep with a deep line, like Rodri does for um, for most of his games with City, and then have somebody kind of bombarding forward in the middle of the pitch and have him just in kind of like an angled arrow? Yes, you could. And uh, I think that uh, Tony, as I call him Tom Cruise, lads, Tony Cruise, I think that he is a good player, but I do feel that he's kind of a luxury item that you don't really need. Now, as I said, it's all about perspective. I keep repeating this. If you've got a starter team or you've got a medium squad that you're looking to build out and you, you pack him in your pursuit for Bellingham or Verratti, like he is a fantastic addition to any squad. But I'm kind of comparing him to, you know, the top, top players in the game, the top guys that are going to be used. And even when we train him up here, yes, you have 95 ball control passing, um, low pass and lofted pass. With 79 balance, 75 acceleration, and 80 dribbling with 82 free kicks, 84 curl. That is fantastic with 75 finishing as kind of an AMF style player. That's the only role I would really have for him here. He goes to a 96 as an AMF, as you see there, uh, with the player skills and stuff. But I just feel like you're kind of still at that. You've only got very average speed, acceleration, balance, and stamina for that type of position. You don't need that much. Um, but then you've also, you know, you don't really hit the heights of the offensive awareness or the finishing either. Now, I know Verratti doesn't have the finishing either as an orchestrator, but Verratti has the engine and he has the aggression as well, which really makes that car viable, especially with his height. You know, he's able to zip around the pitch. Cruz doesn't have that. You know, Tom doesn't have that. Tom Cruz doesn't have that here. So for me, I think that's a bit of a bust. This pack of him here, you can max out his passing with 12 into pass and 10 into dexterity to get 76 acceleration with 80 offensive awareness and 80 balance. I think that is probably the better version of him because you don't need to worry about his defense. You don't need to worry about his speed and stamina. His acceleration is a slight bit better and his ball control is 96. But why I'm a little bit disappointed in this card is because when you take a look at the likes of Thiago and just his standard card, which you can get for 180,000 GP, which to be honest, I mean, Konami give GP away um, like free pretzels. So you will be able to get this after completing maybe one or two events, which will probably be like four games, like maybe an hour and a half of your time. And you will be able to buy Thiago um, if you've missed out on any previous versions of him, right? But even the standard card, like look how he compares to the card, right? So this version of Tony has 95 ball control, 95 low pass and 75 acceleration. Thiago has 71 acceleration, but he's got 90 balance. And he's got 95 ball control, 95 tie possession, and 95 low pass with 92 lofted. He also has a load of player skills. Obviously, Tony is going to have the uh, game change in pass there, which is probably the highlight of this card. But for me, I just feel like when you take a look at other orchestrators, there's a lot of cards that are extremely similar. So it's up to you, lads. But I genuinely do think he's probably the most disappointing of the pack when you take a look at the likes of Bellingham and the looks of the likes of Verratti. Um, but let me know if you've spun Cruz and if you are playing well with him, you know, because 
I do know that he can be a good player and he can unlock defenses and stuff. But I would say that De Bruyne is probably even a better option than him. You know, standard De Bruyne, um, which you're going to have at your disposal if you haven't already got De Bruyne. You know, he's a very easy player to acquire, even though he's nearly a million GP. You could actually train up for that and get him, you know, and he's going to have off the rip. He's going to have very similar stats across the board, um, you know, so that's going to be something that you need to take a look at as well if you're looking for that. But that is it for me, lads. I'll be back later with another training guide. That is Verratti, Cruz and uh, Bellingham back down, done and dusted. So we'll be talking to you later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.